Okay, we're gonna talk about the three key things that are holding you back from getting a girlfriend and what to do about it. The three key things that are holding you back from getting a girlfriend are fear, doubt, and indecision. Let's review. Fear, fear that any attempt you make at taking steps toward getting a girlfriend, such as going on a dating site, or approaching women, or talking to women, or asking them out on a date, or asking them out on a second date, or making a move, or trying to kiss them, is scary. Yeah, guess what? It's scary for all guys who haven't conquered that fear. Next, doubt. The doubt is that, not that you will screw up so much. There is definitely that doubt. The doubt is in yourself that you're gonna mess up and screw up your whole life. The truth is you're not gonna screw up your whole life by trying, but you don't have the confidence in yourself because you haven't practiced enough to know that you can overcome these things and develop this skill. So doubt. And then of course, because of the doubt comes indecision. The indecision is I know I should go talk to that girl, but I'm not going to talk to that girl. So how to get over fear, doubt and indecision? you got to actually talk to yourself because all of these uh, fears and all of these set or things that hold you back are just thoughts in your mind. Like the reality in the world at this very moment is that you are watching this video. That's it. Like you're watching this video. Maybe you're doing something else at the same time. If you're a guy, you might not be multitasking, but that is the truth of any reality. There's only this moment, and then this moment, and then this moment, and then this moment. And anything that we make up, perceive, about a situation is only a thought. So how to get over it? Well, you've got to start evaluating these thoughts and dismantling them. So when you have a thought, I'm not good enough, what I'd like you to do is to question yourself as to why. Why are you not good enough? Is that really true? And look at it objectively. Don't be like, oh, I'm such a loser. <laughs> look at it like, okay, why do I think that I'm not good enough for this particular girl? Or why do I think that she's going to reject me? Because somebody else did? How do you know? You probably haven't even approached somebody else. You've just heard about it happening. Even if you have approached somebody else, it was a somebody else, it's not this girl. So you might get a different reaction. So I want you to question every single self-doubting thought that you become aware of and try to become aware of all the self-defeating and self-limiting and self-beating yourself up thoughts that go through your mind. And don't beat yourself up for having a beat yourself up thought. We all have them. I have them. And I've been studying this stuff for freaking 25 years. I'm a slow learner, <laughs> but anyway. So question those thoughts. It's like, is this really true? And then the th next thing, third thing, what I want you to also do is to start writing a list of evidence that is counter to those self-defeating thoughts. It's like, okay, I'm not good enough, but what if that's not true? What if I am good enough? What would that look like? Where is the evidence that I am good enough? At first, it's going to take some time to come up with stuff, but if you keep at it, then you will find things about yourself that are positive. And if you can't find things, then you should ask people who actually care about you and love you what are good, what's so great about you. Like, there's always something good about you. You haven't made it this far without having good qualities, I promise. And hey, uh, if you believe in God, uh, my mom used to say, God doesn't make junk. That includes you. He made us all. So there are positive qualities in all of us. Even if there's, yeah, there's bad people in the world, they haven't tapped into their good qualities. So I'm assuming that's not you. And all you need to do is figure out some of the good things about yourself and focus on that while starting to take action to improve some of the other things that maybe you don't even like about yourself and you do want to change for you, not for a girl just for you. So if you're really brave, what I'd like to know from you is what's one positive quality that you really actually do like about yourself 
and this is not bragging or boasting I want you to comment below what's one thing that you actually like about yourself that you know whether or not you would actually say it out loud you feel proud of yourself for you know maybe you're resilient maybe you're attentive maybe you're a extra sensitive uh, to people's feelings and you can intuit you know how someone's feeling maybe you're really great at your job maybe you're super disciplined maybe you're a freaking awesome gamer who knows but whatever it is it doesn't matter if it's something you're good at or something that you feel proud about yourself write it in the comments below yeah that's it thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video